I'm Kendall Montgomery, and this is Ultimate Concealed Carry News. Each week we assemble the top stories from network news, online news outlets, and videos relevant to you, bringing you your weekly gun news all in one place. On this week's show, we're ending the year by showcasing four incidents that occurred last week in which responsible gun owners were able to defend themselves and others in acts of heroism. From the armed deputy who prevented the Colorado school shooter from taking more innocent lives to concerned citizens who stepped in to stop armed robberies, our focus on this episode, guns save lives. The country was recently rocked by another tragic school shooting that took place in Centennial, Colorado, just a 15 minute drive from both Columbine and Aurora. The 18 year old gunman entered Arapaho High School armed with a shotgun, a machete and Molotov cocktails with evil intent. Although one student was critically shot, according to Arapahoe County Sheriff Grayson Robinson, the ordeal could have ended much worse if it wasn't for the presence of an armed school resource officer. One minute and 20 seconds from the time that the individual entered the school until he took his own life. The typical shooter in these incidents will shoot until they are confronted by someone in a position of authority, a police officer, or a sheriff's deputy. And this individual knew that our school resource officer was in his immediate area and he was going to contain this situation. We believe that the response from the school resource officer, the response from the unarmed school security officer was absolutely critical to the fact that we did not have additional injury and or death in this particular matter. It's a stark fact that is fueling an already intense debate about gun rights in Colorado. It was an armed deputy who stopped the Arapaho High School gunman from unleashing a deadly massacre, not the expansive new gun control laws approved by Colorado Democrats in March. According to Colorado State Senator Greg Brophy, the gun control laws didn't make a difference. What made a difference was a person in the building who was armed and who rushed to end the threat. Robbers beware of armed law-abiding citizens. Last week, two armed men entered a Minneapolis convenience store, walked around the store for a while, and then attacked the store owner behind the counter by pistol whipping him while emptying the cash register. The store owner struggled with the robbers and managed to get them outside, but the suspects still weren't through with the robbery and attempted to get back into the store. That's when the suspects came into contact with a good guy with a gun. I was really scared for his life. I, I, they, they were trying to kill him, in my opinion. By their behaviors and what I saw, it appeared that they were trying to get back into the store to finish the job. Matt Dosser happened to be walking by University Market and saw a man with a gun pounding on the door. He then looked at Matt. There's a million thoughts that go through your head in that, you know, 10 to 20 seconds. With a permit to carry a firearm, Matt pulled out his own gun and says he held it at the ready position. That's when the two men got into their vehicle and took off. Oh, I'm shook up. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I, this isn't something that uh, people like myself that carry a weapon ever want to have to do. Muhammad is thankful that Matt arrived when he did. His head injury required six staples, and he's hoping this story helps find those responsible. I hope it don't happen to anybody else, because it's not a pleasant situation <laughs> to be in. You know? Another armed robbery was stopped by a legally armed citizen when three masked gunmen entered a church's chicken in Houston and pointed their guns at employees, demanding money. One of the armed robbers was behind the counter when the manager of the store raised up his own firearm and shot the suspect. Two of the suspects stayed out front while one of them went behind the counter. The manager grabbed his gun that he keeps hidden and shot the man. One suspect ran in behind the counter while the other two had firearms. Uh, the manager of the church's chicken produced his own firearm and uh, shot one of the suspects, uh, leaving him uh, deceased at the scene. The other two suspects got scared and ran off. The one suspect who was shot died inside the restaurant. No employees or customers were hurt. Investigators said no charges will be filed against the restaurant manager. Last week, armed citizen Paul Jensen of New Hampshire foiled his carjacker's robbery attempt because he was armed himself. When the carjacker opened up Jensen's door to try and rob him, Jensen immediately pulled his handgun and put it right to the thief's temple. Paul Jensen was sitting in the driver's seat of his Ford Taurus in a hospital parking lot in Nashua when this man, James Paul, suddenly opened up the passenger door. And uh, as he started again, I 
I realized that this wasn't, I didn't have time to think about anything. It just reacted, you know. Um, by the time he got in the car, I had my weapon out and pointed at his head. Jensen had his loaded 9 millimeter within inches of the stranger's head. Um, I was basically like this with my gun, right at his head. Get out of my car. When, you know, get out of my car. I don't know what you're doing, but you lost your mind? Get out of my car. He wouldn't do it. Jensen held him at gunpoint until police arrived. As for Jensen, police say he is licensed to carry the weapon and they don't fault him for pulling the gun. You're either a victim or you're not. I chose not to be a victim. At Ultimate Concealed Carry News, we are dedicated to providing you with these types of stories. Stories the media often chooses not to highlight and which show the truth. Guns in the hands of responsible citizens save lives. I'm Kendall Montgomery. Thank you for watching and have a safe new year. Stay connected. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.